Here I am again now uh, with the video that I promised you that I would do if you needed it, if you wanted it. So here it is that uh, the adaptation for distances for 400, 800, 500,000, 1650 that I have used sometimes with my swimmers in the past uh, of the 100 race uh, series of workouts that I posted last week. So if you want to watch um, the video, there's a link above and also a link in the description. The video uh, from last week is the workout number 10. And um, please, if you like it, just at the end of the video uh, or before, click the like and don't forget to subscribe to and leave me a comment. All right. So let me know what, what else would you like to know or if I can help with anything else. All right. So here we go. Enjoy the video. So, okay, we're gonna go now into the meat and potatoes of this video. I'm gonna put my glasses so I can see the computer screen better. And here we go. Um, all right, we have the sequence of the workout, uh, sequence of workout sets using the 100 meter race. Like, like I told you last week, we're gonna do an adaptation for uh, distance swimmers, um, mid distance swimmers. So this adaptation will be for in yards, will be for uh, 800, uh, no, in yards for 500 and 1650 and the 1000 and for meters would be uh, 400, 800 and 1500. All right, so here we go. As you, as you can see, I would advise now to start with four times 60 meters instead of five and you would do a 60 meter from a dive of the goal time, like I explained last week in workout number 10. You can, in the, in the, in the description below, you can find the link to the video. And then I would go 375s or 3125s, and I, I'll explain that how. And I will do everything between 10 to 12 minutes. All right? The 60 at the goal time of the season for the 100. Now, you were gonna ask me, a distance swimmer, the import, it's not important to have a 100 time, but it is. Mm -hmm. huh? So hopefully you have a goal of 100, the, it, you know, so he can have a reference for the 100, 200, 400, 500 mile, everything that he does. So he will do a dive 60 right, on three minutes, as you can see here, and then he will push 375s if he's a swimmer between 400 and 800 or 500 and 1,000, right? 375s on 110, right? The first round, he will push at 400, 500 pace, plus three or four seconds, each 75. The second round, at 400 pace, plus two to three seconds. The third round, at a 400 pace, plus one to two. The fourth round, at a 400 pace, plus one to two. Um, and then, um, I'm gonna change these because uh, somehow I didn't put it here. This would be 500,000 and 400,800, and down here would be 1650 and 1500. And then for the 1650, 1500, I would do three 125s from a push with 40 to 50 seconds rest. The first round at five, 1500 pace plus five, six seconds. The second round at 1500 pace plus four, five, and the third round at 1500 pace plus three, two. You can always adapt that, right? So it will be up to you. Always swim easy choice in between. Huh? Then if you want to see the warm up, the warm up or the warm up, eh? refer to workout number 10 that I posted last week. Here you have the second set. Remember, as we talked, important points to not go from the 60s and the 75s or 125s to the 70s. Uh, unless they accomplish the paces that you want. Uh, so then here you can see you go um, 70 meters from a dive plus 375s or 3125s again, three rounds. And this will be between 12 to 14 minutes. Uh, the 70, like we talked before, at 70% of the goal time for the season. And then the 75s will be a little bit faster. The first round will go to... Uh, not push, this is supposed to be pace, but we'll go between um, two to three seconds, the third round, the second round, one to two, and the third round, one second plus two pace. Huh? 
and then you can always play with those depending on what type of athlete you have but that would be the minimum that he should be doing and then for the 1500 and 1650 you could do three 125s again the first round uh at 1500 pace plus four to three the second round uh, uh 1500 pace plus three to two and the third round at 1500 pace plus two to one swim is in between warm down make sure that you have an organized warm down and then for the two times 80 meters you know i would do either 450s or 4100s and now we go into 14 to 15 minutes i think that's a good rest uh, some of you may think oh th these are distance swimmers maybe i want to do in less rest um i think rest is not bad you know um so now we go to the 450s from a push and the first round they go at 400 pace plus 0 0.5 to two uh, to one second of their pace and the second round the 450s they go at 400 pace for the 1650s for the 1500 they will go four 100s from a push with one minute rest the first round at 1500 pace plus one to two and the second round at 1500 pace plus 0.5 to pace huh? so uh, as you can see you can always adapt to that like i said before and then the last set would be one time 90 meters plus 650s or five 100s if you go 650s on 110 all of them at 400 pace if you go if you go five 100s from a push on one minute all at 1500 pace you know maybe you can add 110 if you want but you know that would be that would be a, a pretty good pace you know and always remember there's important thoughts the same thoughts that i put last week you know suiting up is important so the, the swimmer understands their body position always the same stroke you definitely are going to do the same stroke if you're a distance swimmer you know unless it's a flyer or a yammer um you know setting up all this between the 90 meters should be with the five 100s or the uh, uh 50s should be between 15 and 10 days before the race uh, race day uh don't go to the next workout or the next distance like i said if they're not ready to move and they accomplish the times that you want yeah. and you know these are the same things how to find out the the pace but very important you know would be to to make sure that uh you play with the with the paces you know um it's you know uh, uh, these are a reference that i have used in the past uh like the mid distance uh, distance sets i haven't used them as often as the 60 and the 70 and the 80s and the 90s but you know i've used the other distances with some pretty good distance swimmers and they have responded pretty well huh? some people have asked me about the 200 or what i would do with the 200 uh, the 200 i would do pretty much the same thing that i do with the 100 you know because a good 200 freestyle needs to have a good 100 free, uh, a good 100 freestyle so that will be good enough um you know uh, if, if you want to adapt a little bit you could do 60s plus 350s or 70s plus uh 350s or things like that but i will be very careful but but it, you know these are my thoughts have worked in the past good sets um if you like them if you use them let me know you can leave me a comment or you can find my email and let me know and you know please if you if you like the video just thumbs up you're gonna help me out with that and also maybe subscribe so click the notifications button so button so you can uh get notifications of when the next video is thank you for being back in the channel and hope you enjoy the video